All right. Welcome back to another episode of Beautiful Me. This is the Birch Box Edition. Or not Birch Box, Boxy Charm. Boxy Charm Edition. Okay, so I'm gonna have to re rearrange this because this this actually came very pretty looking, very very pretty looking. Let's see if we can um, get a shot of. It's how it came. Doesn't that look so pretty? Okay. Yes. So we're filming on a phone that I'm holding up because I don't have a stand for my phone. Um, alright, so I'm just going to go through here and tell you what I have, and I might do a couple of swatches. Swatches are going to be awkward, but we'll do swatches. Okay, so first we, ha we have Butter London, the Double Decker Lash Mascara. I'm not going to do a swatch for this. I'm not going to, I'm going to use this eventually. But right now I have like four mascaras open and I have two on deck. And so this is just going to be number three on deck. This is the two. It looks very mascara-y. And hopefully I get to this in the near future. That looks amazing. Alright. Now this one's hiding so I'm just going to pull it out. This is the Vintage Cosmetic Smoky Brush Set. Yes. Um, I don't have a whole lot of brushes. Most of the brushes I have are e.l.f. And I bought them from Walmart um, because I live in Nowheresville and I started getting my makeup from Walmart because that's where we get makeup from. That's where I get makeup from anyway. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, makeup. And then um, after watching reviews of stuff and things and I buy things online and now I get my boxy charm and I actually really like the boxy charm because it helps me try things that I'm not willing to spend money on or I wouldn't necessarily spend money on um, and that's because I like to before I actually spend the full decent price on things I like to be able to see it touch it feel it and know about as much as I can about it before I actually buy it but when the nearest the nearest Ulta is an hour away the nearest Sephora is two and a half hours away so ooh, that looks like a cool little like smudgy brush that's gonna be awesome um let's I'm trying to oh, flip let's shake it and get all of the brushes everywhere 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 these are actually going to probably come in real handy here in just a little bit when I decide to put makeup on. Um, this is like a flat shader brush or something. I don't know. Oh my goodness! Oh, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Let me get these out. Let me get these out. Ah, oh, plastic packaging. You thwart me. See, and this is an angled brush. And, oh, where'd I put the first one? Here it is. Oh, no, I have to dig it out. Okay. All right. So this is step one for the money. Will it show up? Probably not. That's what it says. Step one for the money. Step two for the show. And step three. Go, girl, go. I don't know why. I think that's so cool. Eh. Anyway, that's nifty. All right. So the third thing we have out of my boxy charm, boxy charm, is the um, pretty vulgar blush in the shade Prim Vixen, like everybody got. So it's bright pink. I'm gonna try to use this. It's gonna be fun trying to use this but if you actually look at it like on skin it's not that bad well yeah I've seen some people put it on and it looks like they their face is just like like they've been out in the sun too long that's what it looks like to me but I'm not going to say these things to the people's faces. I'm not going to leave comments about it. Because that's just mean and rude. But if that's the way you like to look, that's the way you like to look. I'm not judging. I'm just saying that's what I think it looks like. 
Anyway, um, so the fourth thing is the South Main eye gel packs. Now I've saw Laura May use these and that looks actually kind of fun. So I'm probably going to try to use these here in a little while. Um, I did use the lip masks and I really did not like the lip masks. That, no, no, no. I think I used two of them because I used one just as a, hey, let me try this out and see what it does. And that was just weird and awkward and it felt like I put jello on my lips and I was not into that. And then I had like an event I was going to. I think it was just like a dinner or something. I'm not quite sure. And I, um, I wanted to try to look my best. And so I tried using it for that. And that just wasn't a thing. Okay, and last in the BoxyCharm, um, we have this palette, and I've kind of already taken it out of some of the packaging. I'm just kind of taking more out of it. I put it back in packaging so I could repack the box because it was really cool, and I wanted to do a shot of that box set up because I thought that was so pretty, so pretty. Um, anyway, so this is the BoxyCharm Pure Cosmetics, and all the shades, just like everybody has. Mine has this fun little plastic piece over it. I don't know if everyone's going to like that, but I think these look fun. I'm super excited to try them out. Um, I know that there, I've seen mixed reviews about them. Some people say, oh, this is really cool, and I love these colors, and they'll be great. And some people say, I don't know what to do with this. This is so weird and awkward. I don't know why anyone gave me that. They've also, I've also heard that the quality's not as good as other ones. But you know what? I don't know. I've never tried these things, so I don't know. So, um... I'm going to do a video with try-ons from my BoxyCharm and my Birch Box, and I'm going to try to do that every month. Um, I have one from last month filmed, and it's just stuck on my camera because I can't do anything with it, and um, it's already the end of March, and so I'm not going to go back through and redo the end of February's. So, if my, if I ever get my computer situation figured out, then I'll upload those. And so we'll just have, um, videos out of order. That's okay. Shh. I won't tell if you don't. Alright. So, yeah. That's what I got in my BoxyCharm this month. Yes, this month. So, um, yeah. Follow me for the next video to see what this all looks like on my face.